For this Exadata Cloud customer quick demo, we're going to look at how you add your SSH public key to a virtual cluster in order to log into that virtual machine. As we go and look at the virtual cluster, we will see that we have the ability to look at many different things and maintain many things. Uh, in order to maintain the keys and push keys up into the cluster, we just simply drill down at the cluster. When we get to the cluster, you can see there's scaling up and many different things we can do here. Let's click on add SSH keys. And this will allow us to generate SSH keys, which we can then load to a client or to another machine that we want our virtual machine to log into. So the virtual cluster, or we can upload SSH key files to this machine, this virtual cluster in order to log into the virtual machines, or we can paste the keys in. So you can either choose a file and upload that, or you can paste the key in here. So what we're gonna do is go out to my Linux desktop, and from this Linux desktop, we're going to CD to the .ssh directory of the user. And if you see here, there's the ID underscore rsa.pub. We can cat that file. And once we cat that file, we'll see the key. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Edit copy and then go back to my virtual cluster and I am going to paste that key into here and hit the save changes button and that will go out you see my cluster is now updating as this updates you'll see that there's a work request for this uh, and it'll say updating says in progress and we will take a look at this once this has finished updating at this point, you can see that the SSH key has successfully been uploaded in the, into the cluster and the VM cluster has been updated. If we go back to my Linux desktop, we'll then try SSHing into one of the nodes in the cluster. SSH, we give it the public key uh, location on my Linux desktop and we give it OPC at the cluster name. Uh, OPC is Oracle Private Cloud. That's the user that we access the cluster with. We can then change to the Oracle user or root user from there. Uh, but you can see we're on that machine. If this is a machine where we hadn't logged in before, let's try cluster node three, for example. It will ask you if you're sure you want to continue. You type yes, and then you'll see you're logged into that node. This concludes our quick demonstration on how to add keys to your virtual cluster.